Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I have here a, uh, it says Rocket and Groot, well it's Rocket, it's all in Chinese. It says Bandai, 2007 made in China. And on the back is, it says SH Fig Arts. Now I've, I've no idea if this is original or fake. When I saw it on Taobao, it was just a picture of the actual Rocket Raccoon. I thought it was a Marvel Legends one, it was quite cheap, so I thought, okay, I'll click buy. I, it's, I've had a look inside, it's been opened previously, it's missing a couple of bits but it looked quite nice let's have a look now and and have a see nothing else in there if you guys know this is real original let me know now the reason i bought this not because it's rocket raccoon because his size is great for 118 scale and that's why i picked it up whether you use this fantasy or sci-fi so we have this really nice looking rocket raccoon here he's got loads of articulation which i'll look at in a moment the face seems says to me that maybe it's a fake that's not the best of faces but it does come with two others but no articulation in the jaw looks a bit like a bear maybe in this one hey uh, he comes with a couple of guns both very sci-fi looking there is a tiny Groot head here and then two more tiny groups here, which I'm assuming the heads can come off. They can look left and right. Uh, there is oh arm articulation in these little this little one here. But these and they're not going to stand up very easily, I think. It's kind of like top heavy of the head. Let's try it one more time. By the head there. And we have another one here. He's a bit more dynamic in his poses. Again, his head. I don't think this one can change, but I'm not going to risk changing the heads anyway because I think they'll probably snap the neck peg if I try and take them off. They are tiny, but they look good. And it also has a stand, which has not been previously opened. I won't open that now. And what's that here? Oh, I see. It looks like two clips for either ankles or for the uh, groups. I'm not sure. Okay, so sculpting on this figure, head is not great, the body is alright, colour scheme is okay, but it does appear to have decent articulation. To swap the head, I'm hoping it's to have a look at these ones, it's just a very easy pull. I think I prefer this one maybe, or maybe I prefer that one. Let's do this, this plain one first, very easy, Oof. sits a bit loose that head. Let's try this one. Maybe it's a bit tighter. Again, that's a bit loose, but they're not difficult to tighten up. If you want to see how to tighten up a uh, a uh, head onto a neck peg, because the head hole is bigger than the peg, uh, see just the videos there, and I've got a very short video about that, which is very easy to do and doesn't damage your figures. Okay, so articulation. You can look left and right. He's got a side to side and up and down. Uh, he should have more than that because he's on the ball, but it seems to be that ball. Which way is that aligned? Whoa. See, rather than moving on this joint, it's actually just moving on the uh, barbell part of the uh, neck peg. That's a bit strange. Okay, shoulders. So he gets... 90 degrees bicep he gets 90 degrees uh wrists this one's a bit loose it looks like just a swivel there is small trunk forwards backwards small side to side can turn no hip turn legs outwards so far Forwards is okay, backwards is pretty good to be fair. Uh, kneecap is single, not bad. Uh, ooh. And the ankles. Turn, but look like they're going to snap, so I need to be careful on that. And then here's our uh, tails on this very standard joint here. And he can use the tail as a third point of balance, so he's very easy to stand up. I think as a uh, cheap figure, it's actually pretty good. 
just that head issue which I will sort out. Also, it doesn't sit low enough, so this is a big gap between his head and his neck. Now, I want to see how he scales with uh, that 118, because I'm using one of my universes. In fact, before I do that, let me see how he holds the guns he comes with. Bear in mind, his grip is very small, so he has no spare hands. Holds that gun very well, has to be said. And this one. He holds well too, but this hand isn't really made for this gun. But it does hold both of them particularly well. Okay, so let's have a look at how he scales. See his hand popped out. How he scales a 118. Now I'm thinking fantasy as opposed to sci-fi, even though obviously he's sci-fi, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, but I will use anything fantasy nearby here. Let's have a look. Mm, not really. Let me use my uh, first illusion spears because I've still got them here. They are uh, sci-fi, but for fantasy films, they've got spears and whatnot. These helmet just come off. There it is. And you can see he actually scales very well with 118. In fact, if you're doing a Guardians of the Galaxy sort of setup, he could almost work a bit big for 118 for Rocket for Guardians of the Galaxy, but for fantasy or something else, he could work really, really well. In fact. Yeah, would I use them for fan? You give them some soft goods over that, and you've got a nice sort of fantasy uh, adventurer, bard like Lucky Gatio. I think this is the videos from Roblox um, or Roblox. Uh, he worked quite well for fantasy and even sci fi when I do a bit of work on him. Decent figure, especially for the price I paid. Nice little accessories. Just that head thing really is what's annoying, but that can be sorted out. And also, there's a bit strange the sculpting. Look, you can see it here. That sort of line on the sculpting on his neck there, which seems a bit, a bit off. But other than that, he's a winner. Glad I picked him up. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more awesome action toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting and check out the rest of my content because there's loads of stuff for you guys to see in 118 scale, bigger and smaller. Bye bye.